one year since I left my job today, literally, well, probably earlier than today, but it literally marks one year <clears throat> since I haven't had a W-2, a steady income, health insurance from a company, a W, or uh, what's that bullshit called, a 401k, um, <laughs> um, you know, the golden handcuffs, a paycheck every month, all that stuff, so one year. And honestly, it's been the best decision I've ever made, right? And for a few reasons. I live life on my own terms, right? I, my schedule, I, I, I plan everything how I want it. If I gotta work in the morning, I can work in the morning. Or if I wanna do whatever I wanna do in the morning and then work at night, I can do that, right? Everything that I do is, I can plan for it, right? And I do things when I want them, right? So not when I have permission to go do this or do that or whatever, right? As you do with a corporate job. And yeah, most places say they're flexible, but they're not, right? They, you have the illusion of being flexible. But anyway, and honestly, I just don't, I don't consider this work. Like when I say work, I like hesitantly say that it's work because it, I genuinely love what I do and it's not dreadful. Like it's not like I don't wake up in the morning like, ah, oh, damn it, I gotta go do that, sit in these meetings. Like that, honestly, that is the best part because I don't, when people ask me like what I do, like when we go look at apartments, that's technically work, right? But I'm going to look at these places with people that I like, people that I, not that to say that I didn't work with people I liked, but I'm like, I consider it going and hanging out. And we just so happen to be looking at apartments. And for some weird reason, I love looking at apartments or houses or whatever we're looking at, at the time being, I just genuinely love it and enjoy it, right? So it's just really cool <laughs> to say that. And the other thing is, I choose who I work with and who works for me and all this stuff. And I think that's huge, right? Because when you're in corporate, you always end up with a jackass and you always end up working for that guy. And I've, it's happened in multiple companies. And again, not to say that everyone I worked with was a jackass. There was always the one guy and everyone knows who they are. If you work for me and any other companies I've worked for, you know who I'm talking about. And you have no other option but to work with them. And if you don't work with them, then you're at fault, not that guy. That's literally wrong and everyone else knows they're wrong, right? So that's the other thing. You can choose who you work with. And if you do come across one of those people that, I don't know, maybe you just don't get along with, right? You can't get along with everyone. Maybe it's, he's literally a jackass and no one can get along with him. <laughs> but for some reason, the company still keeps him there. You, I don't have to deal with that, right? So it just, again, awesome and honestly like I still have people say like man you're a great engineer you know but why did you give that up right and I gave it up because I knew where my the top of my being a great engineer would lead me being somewhere right so to me when people say that that if you're good at something that doesn't mean you keep doing it or if you're great at something and I relate it to okay Maybe you like drinking and doing drugs. Everyone could be great at that, right? But that doesn't mean you should keep doing it. And yeah, I'm relating being a good engineer to doing drugs, but that's what it means to me, right? If you're good at something, that doesn't mean you can't do something else and be a million times better at it. And obviously be happy doing it. I think that's <laughs> the most important thing here, but those are just some of the things after a year of not having a job that I've, there's obviously a million other things and it really has been the best decision I've ever made, ever. Um, not going to college, not any of that. That was terrible decisions. At the time being, it was probably a great decision Looking back at it now, this is the greatest decision, right? So you go, as you go through things, <laughs> you make better decisions that you think are greater at the time. So one year of not having a W-2 has been amazing. 
great. And if you are a person that's thinking of doing the same thing, I would highly advise it because I talked to other people that did what I did before I quit my job. And I was like, what, what would you have done differently? And every single person said, I wish I would have just done it earlier. <laughs> And now after doing it for one year, I'm just like, I 110% agree with them that all the things that you're scared of, that leaving that whatever it is that you're leaving is in your mind, it's most likely not even the things that you're scared of. It's the things that everyone else are telling you, you should be scared of, right? It's all their fears, all their insecurities, all their anxieties, all that stuff that they project onto you and then it gets into your mind and then um, you kind of deal with it and it holds you back, I think. But obviously don't be freaking stupid, right? There's good ways of doing it and bad ways of doing it. Um, was the way I did it perfect? Probably not, but just go for it. Try it out, make it happen and uh, if you're just happier, even if you make like not even what money you used to make, I think that that's 10 times better, right? It's, uh, yeah, I guess we'll, do, we'll end with that, right? I think you can't really put a price on happiness. Not to say that I won't make a million times more money than what I did as an engineer now, but I could, I would be way happier doing doing what I'm doing now and maybe living like a third or half the life that I was living before. Probably not, because I don't think I'd ever do that, but just in comparison, right? So if that makes sense, I hope it does, but I'm just rambling now. So one year, no job, best time decision ever, and it's been the best year ever. So hope you have a great day and uh, put your plan in action if you're on the same boat and if you're not, Good luck, <laughs> but have a good one.